Greetings and salutations, friends. Hope you are having a fantastic day. Greetings from the ice box. It's currently minus eight. Minus eight. That's the view. As you can see, it's pretty um, pretty cold. Pretty cold. This video is going to be about stop wasting time. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting other people's time. Stop wasting time in general. Because at the end of the day, we only have that. That. Not, not, even, not even that length of time. It's so short. If you think about the span of the overall thing. Like, how long are you here for on this planet? Right? In the grand scheme of things, not that long. What are you doing with your time? Are you reading? Are you getting too comfortable? Are you, I don't know, what are you doing, right? One thing is very, very important. Don't get too comfortable, no matter where you are, right? I was extremely comfortable sitting inside earlier on. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's whatever, right? It's like 20 plus degrees inside. Outside, it's minus eight and it's dropping. It'll probably be minus 12 before the evening is out. Could I have waited and done it later? Yeah, but I want to do stuff later. But the point is that you must go against your comfort. You must not stay for comfort. Why? Oh, it's, it's comfortable, it's comfortable, it's comfortable. Comfortable kills. Right? Comfortable kills. Getting uncomfortable is what you need to do. Because when you're uncomfortable, you will be much happier because you're not going to be stagnant versus when you stay in that comfort it's like oh it's just stagnant yeah life is good rolling along happy out what's going on all is well everything's happy yeah what did you do today did you do anything worthwhile did you do anything for another person did you do something that pushed you beyond your limits your capabilities right or did you just sit back and say yeah, life is good. I'm going to roll with it. Yeah, I'm comfortable in that 20 plus K a year job. Yeah, I'm getting my benefits. Yeah, I'm getting... And don't get, don't get me wrong. I'm not condemning anyone for that. I've, I've done that all my life. I did that up until the start where I where I actually uh, created Monster Kong, right? The Monster Kong Marketing Agency. Up until that point, that is all I did was be comfortable. And, you know, be on social welfare for years. And that, that was my life, right? And that was my paradigm of thinking that I got to stay in that because there was no other way until I found another way. And then when I found another way along, you know, along that path, then I realized that, you know, you have to get uncomfortable to get in order to get what you what, what you want to get, where you want to go, right? So it's really, really important to learn how to be uncomfortable. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is another one where... You know, I haven't been practicing in a long time. Um, that's an excuse, right? I could very easily. And after doing this video, maybe I will, right? Maybe I'll go back training. The point is that teaches you to be uncomfortable, right? So it teaches you to be comfortable in an uncomfortable position, right? This outside now, minus eight, is teaching me to be comfortable. It's teaching me to speak in minus eight when I'm standing in my, in my shorts, right? It's teaching me to adapt to the cold because only the strong will survive. It's not going to be like, um, and you might think like, who's this guy bullshitting, talking shit, standing outside. This is not for me per se. It's more of a message that if I can help someone with a message of some form of hope, then I've done my job, right? It's not a case of me standing here saying, oh, I'm the greatest person in the world because I'm standing outside in minus eight. No, <laughs> it's... I want to get a message of hope across that you can do anything that you've set your mind to. You can train your mind to not feel cold. You can train your body to adapt to cold. You can learn to be comfortable in an uncomfortable position. Whether that's a situation you're in right now and you're like, oh, you know, I'm really comfortable in this job, but I'd really like to leave, but it's much more comfortable for me to stay there, like I just said. Well, then take, you know, a plan, build, do something that's going to work you up to be able to 
get out of that, to start that new business, to exit that toxic relationship, to go to that country you've never gone to before, right? These are things that if it's burning you, and I've said it before in another video, you know, if you've got something within you that's burning you from the inside out, that will never leave. That will never go until you go into the ground, right? That will never, ever go until you decide that, hey, I'm going to do that thing. Because that thing that's within you is telling you every single time, hey, it's giving you little nudges, whatever you, whatever you want to call that, your higher power or your, or the God within or that, that, that still small voice within. It's telling you, and you can't hear it because you're distracted by the noise outside, right? All of this noise, these people, places, things, situations, like, um, you know, all of these things that's blocking you off from hearing that still small voice within, that's what's killing you. That's what's making you too comfortable. That's what's making you not feel good. That's what's making you do those things that you actually don't want to do because you are looking from, basically, you're looking outside to fill a void that only can be filled from within, right? Looking at all of these different things, drink, drugs, alcohol, porn, sex, uh, gambling, this, 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 uh, people getting lost in other things, getting lost in all of these things, seeking outside of yourself for something to fill something that can only be filled from within. It's what I call the God void. Your void of God when you're looking outside. And so this also includes, you know, um, being very comfortable, right? Just getting comfortable. And the only way you can get beyond that is to come out to a place like this, look. Come out to a place like this, look. Doesn't have to be freezing. Get outside, get into a meditation, get into nature, get free. When you do that, everything else gets still. You get happy, you get joyous, you get free, and most of all, you get peace. Most of all, you get peace. And when you can live a life from that peace, then not a person on this planet can touch you. No entity, no this, no that, nothing can touch you. When you hold that peace and you operate from that peace, then you're free. It's when you're operating from the remnants of all the other shit, right? So you're operating from the remnants. What do I mean the remnants? I mean, you're searching outside of yourself for all of this stuff. You're then doing all of those things, right? Whether it's addiction or whatever. And then there's fragments that are the remnants that come on your spirit and on your body and on your mind, and they distract you bring you down lowers your vibration but when you're operating from the still small voice within the peace that is where the other things settle right so all that shit settles then from that when you're at peace the other stuff rises so the stuff that you've been burying and then you get to chip away at that right whether that's crying whether that's healing whether that's roaring and screaming in anger whether that's getting that pain out the only way you can get that pain out is to first become still, let that other stuff rise, and then get it out, right? And then you're operating from a peaceful place. Does it mean that you're going to be peaceful 24-7? No. But does it mean that you're going to be happier? Yeah. That's pretty much it. It's beautiful. It's minus eight and it's beautiful. I'm seriously, seriously, seriously glad to be alive. I should be dead many times over the amount of shit that I did, you know? But I'm not. And I'm healing. And I'm whole. And I'm happy. And I'm joyous and I'm free. Is every day fantastic? No. Do I go through, you know, different things at different times? Yeah. Of course, like everybody. But what's my purpose on this planet? <laughs> you might be laughing. Wow, well, that's so cheesy. What's he saying his purpose on this planet on this planet for? My purpose on this planet is to be in absolute 
truthful individual soul residing within this, within this human body until I leave here. What are some of my goals, aspirations, dreams? Well, to become an absolute billionaire and to give all that money back to help other people, right? So I have a purpose, a drive. Why? Because that is my vision. That is my goal. And I enjoy what I do, right? I'm a master networker. I'm a master connector. I love doing this. I love people. I love connecting with people. There are some of my goals. Let me know in the comment section some of your goals, you know? I don't do Facebook videos every day. I do today because I'm trying to get my mind off standing here in the cold. And so, yeah, that is... <laughs> pretty much it for this one it is like very very cold peace love and light to you if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling anxious if you're feeling alone if you're feeling scared if you're feeling angry it is okay to feel those things so allow them up allow them out and allow yourself to heal peace love and light take it easy and see you in the next one <laughs>